Good morning, Thetis. We are back again, and today I am joined by Aaron. Hello, guys. I am joined by Rowan. Fuck. I was going to come up with a witty intro to say how many days we've been waiting for Dreadwolf, but uh, I, I boosted it. Bail so. guard. <laughs> The name changed. The name changed. Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, a.k.a. Dragon Age, the Dreadwolf, a.k.a. Dragon Age 4. <laughs> and that is it today. It's just us three. Uh, we are going to uh, make this a short episode this time around, because uh, I have to go to work. So we are... <laughs> I, <laughs> your boy, we your boy's got, got bills. So we lock in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, today... Uh, we talked to uh, people around our Discord and talked with each other, and we decided that today uh, is going to be our our <laughs> our episode on talking about Solus. What do you What do you expect? It's a, another episode about Solus. To my utter pleasure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we there's, there's a, just a whole lot more Solus stuff to talk about now. With all these uh, little uh, revelations and uh, unveilings from uh, from uh, the Game Informer articles oh, geez, and yeah. the <laughs> the uh, trailers and such, so we're just going to be uh, having some casual conversation about Solus today. Uh, we have a couple topics on uh, on deck. Whether we even get to them or not doesn't really matter. About it, we're just we're just going to shoot the shit, talk about what we think about. Uh, where Solus's story is going, what we think is going to happen, <laughs> uh, his redemption that or possible death, all that kind of stuff, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna hop right into it. So do uh, either of you want to start, or do you want me to just go? Uh, I guess the bigger question is going to be, what do we think we want to start? Do we want to talk about story or Solus? Uh, I mean. I'm down to just hop right I mean, into the same stuff. I could start out with a heavy hitter. Go ahead, hit, hit me. Go for it. I don't think Solo should get a redemption arc, and I don't think he should die either. Mm. I'm, I'm not even sure he can. That's the thing. Uh, the The worst for him would would not be death, because that's what he he walks to the Nantra, That's what he wants, but his people that don't die easily. He probably gonna be locked up in the fade like he did with the Vanuris if you don't try to redeem him. Because I'm pretty sure that killing him wouldn't be that easy. Yeah, I don't my... know. I feel like the killing of him I mean, exemplified many times they are not gods. They are pretenders, for yep. lack of a different word. I feel like killing him is just as easy as killing anyone else. It's whether or not he's got a weird contingency plan. I... The physical so... act of murdering him is probably not hard. Keeping him dead is the hard part. Yeah, the yeah, it's more like Corypheus. You, you can kill the body, but I'm pretty sure, like the spirit that he is was. I'm not even sure. So that's the hard part to kill. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. Though. I was thinking the Corypheus thing. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was thinking. Uh, we know that to some degree that Solus is a uh, how do we phrase it? He's a spirit creature thing, right? He's like Cole. Um, we kill demons and spirits all the time. The question is, do we destroy just the physical form, or do we destroy the essence of the creature? Because yeah. we have that mission with Solus where we like try to save his friend, and it's too late, and we have to kill him, and he's super sad, right? <laughs> yeah. Because theoretically... Think... Yeah. Go for it. I was going to say, theoretically, it would be the same same. Yeah. I mean, like... To, with his friend, it was you were a spirit of wisdom that got corrupted, and... It was too deep for the spirit to be entirely back. So the spirit was like, please help me just not be there anymore because I'm too broken to stay a spirit of wisdom, basically. I don't know if that's what happened to him. It seems to be the case. It's wisdom goes to pride. And, uh, I mean, let's be honest here. The downfall of Solus is going to be himself as his damn pride. So, yeah. <laughs> like, it's also... I've seen this uh, thing 
all around and I'm pretty agreeing with it. And you you know I'm a hardcore Solus fan. <laughs> but he's a loser in everything he does. He keeps losing because he cannot and doesn't want to see another way. Like, dude, at some point, how many times did you try stuff and it failed? Stop it. Just stop being the stubborn idiot you are. Don't try... Stop trying to bring something that is gone. And I think that might be where Vergard is trying to go. Mm -hmm. Can you manage to convince him with your Rook? Do you want to convince him to do it? Because knowing how Bioware works, even if in Trespasser, I'm pretty sure that the do you want to redeem him or kill him choice is going to be in Velgard. You're going to have to decide what you decided in Trespasser. But that doesn't mean that Rook has to follow this, ra- this route, honestly. My, uh... If you want to kill Solus, just, just kill him. I'm, I, I can understand why. Yeah. My, uh, my thought for the past, uh, well, <laughs> a long time. Uh, so my, my thought for a long time now is I have two wishes that I hope will be the case. Uh, obviously there's a million ways that they can run it, but, uh, the first one is I, I really don't want him to die. Uh, not just because he's like one of my favorite characters in the series, but I think that there is a, uh, there's a really creative way to ensure that he survives. Mm. And one of those things is uh, I'm gonna bring it in a in a uh, comparison to Star Wars. At the end of the uh, ninth Star Wars movie, Kylo Ren gets redeemed and dies, and I didn't like that at all. Uh, yeah. What I yeah. what I would like, yeah, it was it was all it wasn't done well. But I think that there's a really good opportunity for Solus here. Yeah, he I see what you mean. could get redeemed, and this is something that Star Wars hasn't done yet, or hasn't done like in canon at least. Uh, I want him to be redeemed, but have to live with the consequences of his redemption. He's gonna have yeah. to see what he's done, you know, and live with that. Which brings me to the second part, which is I want him to succeed. So I want him to rip the okay. veil down, and I that's something that uh. That's so big that you can't mm-hmm. really have a choice to that. I So I understand that it's either not going to happen at all, or if it does happen, it's uh, something that we can't really change, or maybe we can just affect how he feels about doing it. Like, maybe he rips it down anyway, and then he's like, oh, I feel really sad about it, or I feel very angry, I'm just going to rip this shit down, fuck you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's It sounds like him. It sounds like... He's so stubborn and, like, yeah, stubborn is the only word I can think about right now. (laughs) He wants to do that and bring back what he destroyed by trying to protect them. Yes. But uh, in The Winter Nights, that it's probably going to be canon with the number of characters and companions that we have that come from that book. (laughs) (laughs) And also, like, some of the comics are going to be canon from what we saw. Are any of the books not canon? Well, the, the thing uh, is, is no, that they're ma- all canon. I think technically they're all canon, but also parts and bits can and cannot be depending on your playthrough. So like for I example, think, oh, I think the books in themselves are all canon. The only part in Tevinternize that can be non re canon is the callback, because the callback says that the Inquisition was disbanded. You can not disband it technically, but even if it's just a, like, like the guard of the divine is technically disbanded, so uh, okay. But um, there's there's also the, the comics the... are a, a bit more like, for example, for Alistair, what he the fact that he found his dad and had to kill him is canon, even if he's warden, because if you bring him in the fade, he mentions being in the fade before. And, like, the way he says it, it's I'm, not the reference of what happened in the tower, it's a reference in the comics. I'm like, oh, okay. uh, that's interesting. So with the way Solace is presented in the book, in Tev Nights, I hope we get a little, like, reference to it <laughs> somewhere. Please, just let me see a wig some, somewhere in the lighthouse. 
Mm-hmm. To remind me of the Orlesian Bard. <laughs> I just want to see him with that. I was say there's also the uh, the fact that in the uh, in the books there are like characters who like for example Win like you can straight up kill Win in Origins and she shows up in the books after that. So like there's there's book mm-hmm. <clears throat> there's the Bioware canon which there is like yeah, things okay. that happen, yeah. but you can have. Like yeah, stuff from the Bioware canon. canon, yeah, like completely fucked up. Like, like yeah. you, you, Wynn could be dead in your playthrough, but she yeah. shows up in the books anyway. So there are canon things, yeah. but like you pick little things out sometimes and rearrange them. True. But, but yes, all the books are canon, but it's the Bioware canon. Things in your game can be completely different, which is why uh, I believe when you, uh, when you open up the Dragon Age Keep. The default world state, I believe, is the Bioware the canon. canon. Yeah, yeah, it follows. Uh, except the like the companions, I I don't know how. Well, we know that we're not gonna keep the keep, but uh, like I'm really intrigued by how some of the things that you will have to pick at the beginning of Elgar are gonna influence how Solus is acting, like. It's not just a redemption trespasser. For example, what happens with the Well of Sorrow that might have a huge impact. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait um... for that. Honestly, Solus' reaction, because I <laughs> I always drink from the well because I play as a daily Inquisitor. So, oh boy. And there's oh. that, and I romance him, so I cannot wait to see him. <laughs> Be like, I've been having those voices in my head for 10 years. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> Off-topic, the bio cannon, coolest doomsday device. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, road. Have uh, this is we're we're so off topic with Solus. We're talking about all this stuff, but real quick, have you read any of the books? The ones uh, that take place after Origins, yes. Okay. I've never read like the uh, um, like the pre ones with like the king and the succession. Yeah, I okay. will say, uh, if you ever get the chance. You should read uh, the Stolen Throne, which is that one, but you should also read the Last Flight. A lot of people, yeah. for some reason, so don't good. like Last Flight. Last Flight made Last me Flight fucking cry the, uh... like a baby. It's the one with the uh, the Griffins and the, yes! the Elven Inquisitor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's great. Why don't people like that one? I, a lot of people okay, don't like the, it. I don't know why. The style is different from the like the other books, mm-hmm. but I really love how the story was brought. So I kind of like all the. The books. A lot of people don't like the Stolen Throne either. Really? I, 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 I read that and I was like blown I the fuck it. away. I was like, this is fucking amazing. Yeah, and every time I read it, I'm like, Alistair, you're your dad. You're as stupid as your freaking dad. One of my favorite parts of Stolen Throne was the uh is the uh, the big battle sequence with uh Logan in the cave. Yeah. Oh, crazy as fuck. All right, let's let's get back on topic to Solus. Because we we need Ooh, to have okay. uh, um, book specific podcast sometime soon. Ooh, yeah. Question that is technically relevant to Solus and also the topic we just had. Yes, uh, we know that some of the Evanuris are dragon themed or at least linked to it in some degree. We everyone's got the theory that the uh, the, the the old gods, the dragon gods, or the Evanuris and whatnot and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Do we think they got an actual dragon form and that'll be like some big boss fights? Like, is big old Wolf Dragon Solus going to show up? Oh, 100%. I... There's no way that you tease Wolf Dragon Solus throughout the books and not bring it into the game. That shit's popping up, 100%. There's that, and with the trailer itself, you see the dragon, you see where Solus was trying to... The dragon appears in the place Solus was trying to do the ritual in, and... uh when you read a bit between uh, the lines of all the codex entries you have for the gods, uh, we discussed that in in this postca- podcast a while ago. That was one of the biggest podcasts we've yeah. done. Because a lot of research on this one. Uh, but all the Evanuris could basically possess a dragon. It's more a possession than anything. Mm. At least from what we can understand now. Maybe it's bigger than that. So, uh, but, I mean... That would be cool, although I don't want to see Dragon Gilanon, but Dragon Solus, yes, please. You know what I just thought of? Uh, Actually, no, Dragon Gilanon would be great. 
No! I'm scared! I'm well, scared of me! Here's the thing, I right? want the most eldritch cosmic horror dragon thing they can possibly make. I hope it's that weird centipede thing from the from the oh, concept gosh. art. Oh my god, this, yeah, that's gonna pop up. That's probably it, because that's what is in the winter night. Thank you, Horror of Hormac. Thank you, John Epler, but I cannot sleep at night with that story. <laughs> here's here's like uh, an idea that I got, right? So, uh, we know that Tevinter, the people, uh, they believe in the dragon gods or whatever, right? Yes. We know for a fact that Mythal can turn into a dragon. We know yes. now that Solus can turn into this wolf dragon thing. So, I, I fully believe that all of yeah. the Evanuris can turn into a dragon. Yes. And it'll just be a different type of dragon. Also, because it's pretty obvious and pretty clear that the old gods are the Evanuris, we've killed a few of yeah. them. Uh, and they all, when they became blighted, became archdemons, aka giant demonic dragon things. So aren't I there, think we have a good chance. Aren't there two dragons left? Two, there two are. Uh, left? There's two, but... Um, and there's two old gods in this game. That's what I was about to say. That's the link I was going to make. There's only yeah. two, go two of them appearing so far. So the my only thing is depending on how... Okay, that would make me a bit upset because that would break the entire thing that we worked on with uh, Dear Hala. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, for example, the the biggest and the strongest of the, the old gods was the one that Corypheus was serving Dumat. Was Dumat, Dumat or already killed? Uh, it was supposed to be Dumat. Should be if it's the king of the old gods, then it means that would be the king of the Evanuris, aka Ergonon, that we know thanks to Game Informer is one of the two gods that we see. Was well, kind of obvious. Okay, as well. so so technically we could we could be facing Dumat. We are, king of the old gods, also a cool Dumat name. Was already Dumat was already slain, isn't it? I don't know. I don't it's, remember which it was. I, I think it, I think he was, but uh, okay. I don't think. Yeah, he was killed during the first blight. Oh, but okay. Maybe it's the the old gods, or what we call the old gods, are just the dragon form that the Venris couldn't fully control anymore because Veil. Vale, yeah. And that was the dragon form. Maybe those those that got the archdemon that were slain by the slain by the wardens. Basically, Ooh. rendered the Evanuris uh, dragonless. That that wouldn't surprise me. Although I, I think Gilanan dragon might still be there. I also want to throw in how in the uh, in the what's it called uh, in the trailer uh, mm -hmm. with all the uh, all the statues. There's two lights, two beacons shooting yeah. up into the sky, representing, again, the two gods that are stuck there. So here's the thing that I'm thinking, right? The rest of them aren't lighting up. So either that's because they're all dead, which is what I think it is, or the other option is that it could be that they're not lighting up because the others aren't there. Because so they have they were moved to another prison at another point in time, or they just weren't imprisoned at that spot. Maybe two of them got imprisoned there, two of them got imprisoned somewhere else, blah, 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 blah. Because the Darkspawn do have to go searching to find them. Yeah. So I imagine Solus maybe like locked one underneath the ground over here, one all the way over there across the world, and then Normally two no, in this spot. But, um, There's also, maybe Solus didn't finish the ritual because, uh, yeah, you have a tendency to not finish the ritual correctly. That's uh, That's the thing. <laughs> Like, he, okay, in the trailer and everything, he appears way more powerful, way angrier. But like, dude, you spent 10 years being completely alone? Well, we know you don't want to be alone. Yeah. Like, at some point, just ask for help. Like, and granted, apparently in 10 years, uh, the Inquisition that tried to find a way to stop this apparently couldn't. <laughs> uh, uh, Dragon Age, the first light. Sounds like the coolest game that we don't. I have. was gonna say, I <laughs> I almost feel like if we slay the two Evaneris by the end of this game, Dragon Age Five could be a prequel all the way and go through the other uh, the other blights. I mean, was it um, 
Yeah, it's the longest blight. It's like nearly two centuries. Really? Was that how long it lasted? Um, uh, trying to, yeah, and lasted nearly two centuries. The longest blight in history. Oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> Dang it. That would be a sick... That's honestly, cool. you could do a whole fucking series within the oh, first yeah. blight. They, I don't know, man. I think that's that, good, that and there's be... a lot of uh, opportunity in there. If they, if you could they do it. To... Um, what is that? Age of Kings, Age of Empire style, where you have to make like a family tree and stuff, and you have like a whole ass lineage to follow. I think a lot of people would be into that, but I don't think the core audience of Bioware would enjoy that. I mean, that wouldn't be Dragon like Age because the, the Dragon Age is right, like the from nine zero zero to uh, nine yeah. ninety nine. But so that would I, be the ancient age, but the, I would be I would be curious to see it. Honestly. Yeah, it would be like I said, it would be another age of stuff. But I don't know how you how you do that without how how you make a game set in another age, but not name it. Okay, I don't know how to say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be not it would it the would name be of the series. Yeah, because they don't yeah. want to change the name of the series. People will be like, "What well, yeah. the fuck is that?" and yeah. probably not want to buy it for some reason because people are weird. Uh. So I don't know, but th that's the only thing that keeps me away from any ideas of like prequels with Dragon Age, like the series, because of the naming convention and how that works and marketing and all that shit. I mean, granted, um, depending on what it was that um, Solus was trying to do, if it was only two gods remaining, or A, I didn't have the time to call the others with thank you. Because we already got the maybe the greediest and the most prideful one, even even compared to you, mm -hmm. Freed and the, the the crazy creature that you felt to kill. <laughs> you should have killed her before. But that's another story. <laughs> like also the fact that he's gonna be, well, that I mean we're gonna go full spoiler from the Game Insider, but um, like knowing that. You gonna have your base in the fade with Solas being here. I was gonna say <laughs> it we hurts. Should, we should uh, we should talk about the lighthouse. We can. I, uh, what was I was say we can say real quick that we'll be like, hey, just so you know, little tiny spoiler from yeah. here about like uh, Dragon Age, the Veil Guards, uh, home base, like your version of Skyhold. We're, we're gonna talk about it for a little while, so. But, like, if you don't want to be spoiled, you can yeah. click forward. <laughs> and it's so cool that they kind of said what it was, because that gives a whole, the whole meaning of the image we had years ago with the rook piece, the chess piece, yeah. with the flame, and the face of the wolf. I'm like, okay, so that's a lighthouse for rook. That is technically Solus's home. Also, can Solus stop giving us houses every time we go somewhere? Please. They're nice houses. I'm not complaining. <laughs> like a castle and a lighthouse. Great. Thank you. <laughs> also, the very long table when he he re he hates being alone. He was kind of a uh, that was a shitty move to kill Felisan. The especially the way you did it for the reason you did. I really like that's Felisan. exactly. I, I really liked him, and what he was saying is exactly what Solus feels right now towards Varric, for example. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to kill Varric. He destroys Bianca to cut the only mean that um, Varric could use to hurt him, really. Mm -hmm. And also because he knows that uh, destroying Bianca would tell Varric, I'm serious, stop this. <laughs> he doesn't want to kill him. Uh, he doesn't want to kill anyone from the Inquisition that he knows and love, but he had absolutely no remorse killing fellow son for this exact same reason, which I'm like, <laughs> uh -huh. great, we lost a good guy for nothing. You will be That's remembered nice. in the coming empire. I'm, <laughs> I'm very curious of, to see if we're going to see Abelas or not, if we save the elves. I saw somebody on Twitter Mitchell? saying that. I don't know if we'll see him. Maybe, like, I, I mean, maybe if it's like one of those decisions of uh, if we respected the uh, the Elven traditions yeah. or whatever. If like that's a yes or no thing, maybe he'll show up. I mean, yeah, that could be like a, a contact in the city, and if it, if you didn't spare, then there's gonna be someone else. Yeah, because you also have like this whole thing uh, during the gameplay trailer 
when you have people telling, I, I think it was Varric saying that, hey, uh, we know that souls have been freeing slaves into winters. So what you did before, you're doing it right now as well. But you still want to bring down the veil to bring something back that is long gone. <laughs> and bringing the Evanuers back in the meantime. Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like the, I understand why you wouldn't want to kill him to stop him. Because I don't know if... I don't know what would make him change his mind. That's the thing. Yeah. I, I am, the only thing that I can think of that would make him change his mind is the Inquisitor if you mm -hmm. romance him. I don't know any other way. Yeah. I'm sure they'll it's find a way that. if it's possible, but the only way that I can think of is a romanced Inquisitor. Even that, like, although it was a cute thing in Swiss Passer that if you romance Inquisitor, um, no matter what, if it was a sad break, break up or not, when your Inquisitor goes, uh, uh, goes forward, Solus is gonna go backward. <laughs> I'm curious of what type of ending would satisfy you, Rowan, since uh, I'm re-entering by the fact that you don't see that Solus should be redeemed? Because mm -hmm. that's an interesting point, honestly. I, dude, I want a redeemed Solus that has to go through the shit of being a redeemed genocidal person. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm gonna be very, very naive there. I just want my happy ending with my Inquisitor, okay? I want her to stop crying over that boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I want Solus to stop saying I cannot be with you even if I want to. If you want to, we are. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a happy ending. That's all I want, honestly. <laughs> I, I I can hear all the cries of the soul of Ellens from here. <laughs> the Elysian cries for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, like, what would be your ideal ending, Rowan? In that case, like, without the re re the redemption. Ideally, uh, the whole veil is torn down. Everything's changed. We technically fail to stop him, and or we say, fuck, well, this is the way the world is now, and we get, like, an awesome-ass new fantasy. Hell yeah. Um, do you... Uh, how can I... I forgot what I wanted to say. Thank you, Brain. <laughs> um, do you think Solus should die? For that no. to happen? No, I think he should live with whatever consequences he has. Mm -hmm. I think... He should hate whatever world he makes more than the one that he lost. Oh, no. And the one he destroyed. Yes. Oh, no. That would be so <laughs> bad. I mean, we know that's going to happen. That's the thing. No, we don't he's know so, that. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll be fine. He's so, he's so blocked on, oh, okay, I created the veil. <laughs> everything was bad. So let's open it up after millennials and huh. everything would be fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's just gonna melt people and be like, wait a minute, I did this for nothing? No, no <laughs> I took precautions. Yeah, we were the precautions. He's just, he's just going full on <laughs> Halo style, just glassing the planet, and he's gonna be like, oh, damn, I can't believe this happened uh, for, for nothing. You didn't, you didn't take precautions. You took my fucking hands. Okay, uh, <laughs> I... I the way oh, he no. says, like, the it gives me the chance to save you if your friend or romanced. Because I, I almost never had, uh, never tried yet mm -hmm. the Soul Sage you wrote. Because every time I play my female Inquisitor, I always play an elf and um, I'm weak, very weak. <laughs> I want to do it. I just want to clock in the face. It's the greatest. I love watching that okay, dude get yeah, punched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I kind of like doing it because, um, when you don't play as a female elf and that you romance, even if you don't romance him, it's okay-ish, except when he insults your entire uh, culture. <laughs> like, okay, it, okay, now we know you were right. It th doesn't mean you have the right to insult me. <laughs> <laughs> My very first playthrough of to Inquisition... To grade me, Wolf Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> My very first playthrough of Inquisition, I played a, I played a human. Uh, I played a human. <sighs> I was very much... Uh, like yeah, I'm the I'm the Andraste guy. Fuck you. And, you were a uh, or not? No, I, I went warrior. My first oh playthrough. gosh. Oh. So I, went, I went warrior, who was all about like, yep, I'm Andrastean. I I am the prophet, bitch. Let's go. Oof. And I I punched the fuck out of Solus, and I had a oh, very yeah. antagonistic relationship with him. 
but uh, yeah. after that, I I went my my usual, which is uh, I went elf mage, and became it's... best friends with them and all that yeah. kind of shit. Like when I played my uh, human mage to romance Colin, like mind you, I was still a mage, but the way he speaks to her <laughs> or about like her in general. I'm like, you're so lucky that I like you, so I'm going to try to go your way, but you <laughs> so deserve to be punched. What the <laughs> heck is that? What? Like, he's he's an asshole when he wants to. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No, he, yeah, like, he can be. And uh, the, again, with the few that we saw and the bits and pieces we have, he's going to have no choice but to help Rook. So us. To do, probably to stop the tree of Anurus that got out yeah, that's probably a bad plan because even you didn't want them out. So uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Add that to all the chaos in Thetis to start with, like uh, the mess with the crows, the mess with the vents, and everything. Like, ugh, that's gonna be a long shot. <laughs> Although no, I, I'm I really curious to see how Solas will react to whatever you do, because you everything we're gonna do is gonna have consequences. Up until the moment the Inquisitor is gonna arrive, because we know we're gonna have to create the Inquisitor, like to to yep. recreate our Inquisitor. So, it, I think they're gonna do it differently from Dragon Age Inquisition. Because Dragon Age Inquisition, when Hawk arrives, you kind of get spoiled on who is coming, because you can personalize your Hawk. Well, I'm pretty like, sure instead that... of having the surprise. So, I think this time they're gonna make it. Make us do it at the very beginning. Yeah, that's what they said. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they said that's how it's gonna go. Yeah, but it's just I don't think you're gonna see your Inquisitor right at the beginning. That's the thing. Probably you're not. gonna make your Inquisitor at the beginning, and just now. When are you coming? I can see them. I can see it being later in the game, but I can also see it at the start because Varric is like searching for somebody, and it could be like a quick thing at the start of Inquisitor being like, "Hey, go find somebody." And then see the Inquisitor again later down the road. I mean, yeah, that would uh, that would do something. And again, if they found Solus, there is no way the Inquisitor is not aware of it. Like, if there's one person to warn about, hey, we finally got him. Uh, you, you call the Inquisitor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, Varric, you're gonna get your ass kicked <laughs> because. Um, I mean, that's definitely the mission that we got at the end of Trespasser. The Inquisitor is like, that's my job to stop him. Whatever I have to do to do that. And I think Solus is kind of ready to face that. Eh, which is a bit sad and scary. But again, Can't usually wait. he loses. So, like, sorry, honey, you're kind of a loser. So, normally I should win. Normally. <laughs> <laughs> But we we uh we've already hit all the main topics. I went through the the list and we've already we've already hit them all. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have any like specific things that you'd like to bring up, or if not, we can we can end this early and we can have a a nice short episode that we can get up. How long's it been going? Shit. We've been going for thirty five minutes. Oh, you know what? That's not that bad. Short episode never hurt nobody. Yeah, I uh. I don't mind a, a short episode at all. Uh, do do either of you have anything else that you want to talk about about Solus real quick, or do you, we can bring it over to another episode? What do, what are you guys thinking? It's, I hate how less punchable his face looks. <laughs> 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 like That's now, funny. it's very handsome, Squidwardy. Before it was like mm, I could punch you. You look like a nerd. I think he does look <laughs> more handsome now. You were right. Especially, I think his eyes <laughs> right? are also very vibrant now. He's looking. He's looking They're more pretty vibrant, good. yeah. He's looking pretty handsome. He's looking motivated. <laughs> oh, ah, not in the right way, though. <laughs> he's been he's been doing his Patrick Bateman face routine every day. <laughs> he's out there mewing for us. <laughs> Look, he's all alone sitting at this very long table, eating alone. I think he has to occupy his time. <laughs> he's got that Giga Chad bone structure. Do you think he sits in that table and just eats soup? Oh yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> or giving me a, a cup of tea. <laughs> he, <laughs> in disgust. He seems like the kind of guy to sit alone and just eat soup. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of okay, what kind of soup does he consume? Oh man. Oh good question. Oh. Uh, let's see. What's the I most bland soup that I can think? It of? It looks like like a 
I was thinking like a grandma's matzo ball soup kind of scenario. <laughs> in, in my mind, it you was like my, the grandma onion soup. <laughs> <laughs> Where your culture is, it's grandma soup that he consumes. You, you know what? I, I like to think that he just sits alone in that oh, giant building at the end of that table. And the soup that he is consuming isn't soup. It's just chicken broth. Oh, oh, dude! Are we talking like good soup, Adam Driver scenario? Yes, like it's it's just it's just broth, and he's just sitting there eating eating alone. Good, good soup, but he's talking to nobody. My Provenon, come here! You need a hug. Oh God! Oh God! You know what? I hope that Rook can be that mean. Like, do you need a hug? (laughs) (laughs) You need a hug or something? Were you really that alone? There's, there's got to be him. some good options like that oh, to, gosh. Fucking, to hit him with that. Wait, wait, like he painted, he probably painted the entire lighthouse like he did the, the, his room in, um, in Skyhold. <laughs> so technically, alone in like a lighthouse slash tower painting, are you Rapunzel without hair? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, All alone, God. painting your walls without friends. That's it. <laughs> with all of the without <laughs> friends, you got no friends. Fuck you. No, he cut everyone out. He's Literally. got spirits, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't want to know what he does with spirits anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. A nice little roast of the boy. <laughs> I still uh, love him though. So, <laughs> thank you both for uh, joining me to record today. I appreciate it. Do it again. Yay. And thank you, everybody, who's been uh, showing up to listen lately, especially all the new people that have been showing up. We've been getting some some big numbers on Spotify and YouTube. It's been awesome to see. Uh, have we really? So, yeah, we, uh, the, not the, not the last episode that went up this Tuesday, but the one before that. I think it was one before that. 200, oh, 250 views, something like that. Damn, that's oh, nice. Wow. Thanks, peeps. Yeah, so uh, feel free to uh, keep keep watching. We'd appreciate it. Also, keep, uh, feel free uh, to like, uh, share, and subscribe. Yeah, that. I mean, I don't ever <laughs> say any of that shit, and that's probably why we don't grow, but <laughs> also do that. Comment. Because people have been actually, I, I love actually when we do get a comment because I can, I. As soon as I get one, I like to go in there and reply. Somebody commented uh, yesterday about uh, how I was shitting on the dark spawn design for for Veilguard, and I was like, to be fair, like uh, I don't like it, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. And once I get in the game, I probably either will warm up to it or like not really give a shit. Yeah. But <laughs> like we, we waited so long that even if we're nitpicking about things, we're gonna play this. We all know it. Though. Oh yeah, I I, I like <laughs> to be fair. It's reading comments probably gonna change with every iteration of the game, like it has. It's the reason why we'll never get like a Dragon Age Origins or like a Dragon Age remaster in general, because yeah. every game has a completely different art style. It's not like Mass Effect where it was consistent. That's yeah, they're always made in new engines and shit. I would love. I would like them to. If Veilguard is the new art style, if they would lock it down and stick with this, and then go back and retroactively remaster everything, I would love that. But that's a, that's a whole other that's a whole other conversation. That could, that could actually be a very good podcast subject. Definitely, we could definitely You're talk welcome. about I'm that. I'm just here to provide. <laughs> so You're amazing we're... for that, and we love you for that. True. Thank you. So again, thank you, you two, for being here. Thank you, everybody else, for being here, listening, and watching. We appreciate you guys immensely. It is awesome to see all the new uh, people joining in and all this new support. And please uh, talk to us. Let us know. Comment on things. You can. I have Twitter. We all have Twitter. All our links are in the bio. If you want to uh, ask us questions or if you have ideas for topics or anything like that. So we'll see you guys next time. If you want to shit on our ideas, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True as well. <laughs> so thank you all very much. And we'll see you next time. Later, Thetis. Bye.